So after nearly, I think, three years of researching and trying to find the right one at the right price, I finally got a telescope. So, excuse the, the mess of the cave and obviously I'm in my PJs. Uh, it's late at night as usual when it comes to getting time to do these videos. Hopefully the lighting's okay. Um, just, oh, that's already undone. Um, so I've been looking for uh, a telescope for a while, specifically the Celestron Nexstar 6E. Typically this at least in my mind, uh, is an expensive telescope. It retails at just over a thousand pounds. I started off, I think, uh, it's about five years ago. I bought various books on uh, telescopes, uh, computerized telescopes, and so I've, I've always generally had uh, an interest uh, in astrology. Uh, not like a, a deep, profound uh, love for it, but you know, a strong curiosity. Uh, you know, in line with space travel and, and things like that. Um, and after doing research for months and months and months, I decided that it was this Nexstar uh, 6E uh, that I wanted for a couple of reasons. One, I wanted something that was um, relatively powerful. So you could argue if you've never done astronomy before, like me, I've just obviously had a go over people's telescopes. You don't want to spend too much because um, then it's a bit of a disappointment uh, if you then don't keep it very long you're going to lose money uh, but at the same time you don't want to spend too little because then you're not going to have to see stuff that's going to keep you energised and passionate about doing things so the 6E uh, isn't cheap uh, so it's not the, the best camera but I like the fact that it was powerful it was pretty compact so it wasn't going to take up too much space in the house or in the cave uh, when not in use uh, it's computerised um, so it makes it easier for a novice person to use um, Celestron do wireless modules that you can plug in. Uh, plan to get one of those as well. Um, so you can do things from your iPhone, your iPad or Android or, or what have you. So the reason I've been fortunate enough to get this is um, Amazon, obviously, I don't know if you're all aware, Amazon have warehouse deals, which are basically items that have been uh, returned or open box items. And they had one, just one of these Celestron Nexstar 6Es in stock and over this Easter period they had 20% off. So I ended up getting this telescope which retails I think at something like £1,075 or something for just over £500. So pretty much half price. Um, I can still uh, return it in 30 days if I don't like it and there's something wrong with it. It's got, it's got the two year Celestron warranty. So. Let's talk in, let's uh, get inside and uh, have a quick look at it. Uh, I'm gonna do a few videos. This is not really a review, it's just kind of a, a you know, sharing with you that I finally got a telescope. Um, I've never bought uh, something that's been uh, in an open box thing before, so maybe this thing is really damaged. Uh, I hope not, but you know, we'll, we'll worry about that um, uh, later. I need to get some time to columnize it, make sure the, the mirrors are aligned and everything. And uh, let's check things out. So, okay, um, I assumed it was going to come in some Celestron branded box. This is here open. Oh, okay. So this this is this is it. Uh, let's see. So it comes with the manual, the quick setup guide. Um, some software. I've heard that the software is pretty crap. It still recommends using XP and stuff, so it's probably pretty old. Put that down there. This is it. And so as you'll see, it's pretty compact. Uh, so it's got a good weight to it, though. Uh, uh, this is the, I think the, 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 I can't remember what they call this module, but basically the module that you use to program uh, where, you know, where you want to point at certain stars or planets or, or what have you. But it looks, it looks like it's in reasonable condition. I mean, from a cosmetics perspective, there's 
Not like a big dent in it or something. Again, you have no idea why someone returned it away, whether it's open box or or anything. Uh -huh. There's a spanner. <coughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm also interested in doing some astrophotography as well, so I want to be able to get um, an adapter so I can connect my digital SLR to it and take some uh, pictures as well. So uh, feel free to come on that journey with me. What's in here? Ah, okay. Uh, some sort of bracket. Some sort. Of, this looks like something that probably goes in the tripod and holds lens. Um, yeah, holds lenses um, for the telescope. Maybe. Okay, um, Celestron Star Diagonal 125. Made in China. What's this? Okay, this is the, the lens piece of some sort. Cool. Not quite sure what that is. Twenty-five millimeter lens of some sort. Okay. Where's my knife? And over here, I guess this must be the tripod in this other box. This is still sealed. Tripod. Uh, you can definitely see that um, it's been owned before because it's typically very difficult to get uh, polystyrene things out without all the crap and crud falling out there. So that makes a lot of sense. And here. bag. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so I guess, I guess that's it. Let me uh, have a quick look through this quick start guide and see if we can put this thing together and see what it looks like and see if all the bits that you know, expecting to have with this is actually here or not.
står en uh, fucking fool. Um, so yeah, apparently this on the back here, here is a focus. There's a focus knob on here. Um, cool. Now there's this hand control guide. Um, so it's damn freezing, but I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm gonna try and take it outside. Uh, I don't know what the cloud cover is or isn't like, um, and see uh, if this thing works as we expect or not, and then uh, go back and show off the video. Back in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna end the video here. Um, it's so overcast outside, you can't see any stars, so there's not really much fun to be had. Uh, I'm still not feeling too great, it's nearly 11 p.m., so I'm gonna call it a day. Um, but I did get to get, you know, I got the thing fired up, uh, this uh, Nexstar hand controller unit all lit up red. Uh, I was able to uh, use or, utilize the controller to move the motorized platform, which sounds and looks really damn cool. Um, so hopefully show you that in, a, in the next video. Um, but I couldn't do anything because you need at least three points of uh, reference in the sky to uh, program this thing and, and align it. And then from there, it will take you on to doing the tour of the cosmos. So uh, tune in for the next video uh, related to this um, telescope. Hopefully there'll be more interesting things to see. Uh, I think if we get it working, I can just take some hopefully not too blurry shots of my iPhone through the lens, see how that turns out. And then longer term, I wanna look at some astrophotography. Um, if you've into astronomy, if you've got this telescope or something similar, I'd be really interested to hear from you uh, down below in the comments. Any hints and tips uh, would be much appreciated. But that's it, I finally got a telescope. Oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this next star 6E performs. Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.